breaking down barriers. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19, emphasizes the profound change that happens when we accept Christ into our lives. We transition from being outsiders to insiders, from strangers to family members. In Christ, we become citizens of God's kingdom and part of his household. Here are the applications that serves as a reminder of the unity and sense of belonging that believers have within the family of God. Number 1. Embrace your identity. Recognize that as a believer in Christ, you are no longer an outsider or a stranger in God's family. Number 2. Extend grace. Just as God has welcomed you into His household, extend the same grace and hospitality to others. Be open and welcoming to newcomers or those who may feel like strangers in various situations. Number 3. Celebrate diversity. Appreciate the diversity within God's family. Every member brings unique gifts and perspectives. Embrace this diversity and learn from one another. Number 4. Seek God's Guidance Regularly seek God's guidance in how you can live out your identity as a member of His household. Ask for wisdom and discernment in your actions and decisions. And number 5. Express Gratitude Express gratitude to God for the privilege of being part of His household. Thank Him for the unity, love, and support you find among your fellow believers. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11 to 22, the Apostle Paul beautifully illustrates the transformative power of Christ's sacrifice. This passage reminds us of the incredible journey from separation to unity that believers experience in Jesus Christ. First, Remembering Our Past Paul begins by encouraging us to remember our past. We were once separated from Christ without hope and without God. We may have felt like outsiders, like we didn't belong. In our lives, we often build walls of division, whether it's due to nationality, culture, or other differences. Second, the work of Christ. The heart of this passage lies in the work of Christ. Through His blood, He broke down the barriers that separated us from God and from one another. He abolished the dividing wall of hostility. In Christ, we find our peace and we become one new humanity. No longer are we defined by our differences. We are united in Him. Third, reconciled to God. Christ's mission was not only to unite us with one another, but also to reconcile us to God. He proclaimed peace and through Him, we have access to the Father by the Holy Spirit. This access brings us into a deep and personal relationship with our Heavenly Father. Fourth, a new identity. Paul closes by highlighting our new identity. We are no longer foreigners and strangers but fellow citizens in God's kingdom, part of His household. We are like living stones being built into a holy temple with Christ as the cornerstone. The presence of the Holy Spirit is in us, makes us a dwelling place for God Himself. As we reflect on Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11 to 22, we are reminded that in Christ we find true unity and belonging. The world may emphasize our differences, but in Him we are one family. We are called to tear down the walls of division, just as Christ did, and extend His love to all. Let us embrace our identity as citizens of God's kingdom and allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in us, guiding us in unity, love, and reconciliation. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the incredible work of Christ, which unites us with you and with one another. Help us to live as citizens of your kingdom, tearing down the walls that divide us and extending your love to all. May your Holy Spirit dwell in us, guiding us in unity, love, and reconciliation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.